Good morning, folks. It's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear, and today we are at the Specialty Coffee Expo that's hosted this year in Seattle, Washington. And I always have the pleasure of meeting up with Breville folks and Phil in particular, and we're going to do a little uh, product introduction, right, Phil? We're going to Fantastic, uh, the uh, Precision Brewer today. Yeah, we and are. You're going to talk all about it, and then he's going to make me some coffee. Exactly, yeah. and then we might skip over and uh, and do some latte art tutorials on the Brista Touch. Uh, I'm busy. Are you so, busy? Yeah, no, I can't do that. No, no, no latte art. No, we're getting you to pour a heart today. Okay, It's, it's going right. to be awesome. Okay, yeah. good, good. So, yeah, uh, this is the latest of their brewers, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, its functionality, what makes it better than other brewers, and then you're going to roast me, or uh, not roast, grind up some coffee and make me a pour over with the Espresso Republic Raven's Dark Roast, one of my favorites. I brought that along for him. So, have at it. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Looking forward to this. So, this is our Precision Brewer. So, we launched it uh, late last year. This is the thermal version. Was this we, at the show yet last year? Um, yeah, we did We did show it. Yeah, yeah. We, um, we had it on display, mm -hmm. uh, but it w went into the market uh, last October. So. Gotcha. Just, just for a short period of time now. We're just about to launch the glass version of it. So two versions, a thermal and a glass. Nice. So what makes this um, this brewer different from everything else that's gone before it is uh, pretty much the heat system that we're using here. So Everything about it's different. Pretty much, there's yeah. a lot of change, exactly. Yeah. So that's what Breville does. Um, yep. You know, disrupt the market with innovative technology. <laughs> so instead of using a, a regular um, vertical boiler or horseshoe shaped boiler, we're actually using uh, a PID temperature controlled thermoblock mm -hmm. coupled together with an espresso pump. And this is stainless steel lined aluminum, right? Yeah, that's exactly yeah. right. Yep. So the, uh, the element in the stainless steel water path are cast directly into that aluminum block. And then we have, um, we have a thermocouple embedded in the mm -hmm. water path so we can right precisely uh, detect and control water temperature. And you can see this is all stainless here. Uh, you know, people are very aware of stainless and aluminum. Yeah, exactly. Touching their water and so exactly. that's so, why I brought that up. Yep, so it's, uh, it's 304 grade, uh, f food grade stainless steel, so Great. FDA approved. Uh, and then we, uh, we control flow rate uh, through the heat system uh, with an espresso pump. So we've got precise control over temperature and we've got con uh, precise control over flow rate as well. Perfect. And because we're using a pump, we've got, um, we we've got the ability to vary flow rate. So it's got three settings, so slow, medium and fast. Right. And we can also adjust temperature as well. So um, if you've got a particular coffee that may be type of origin, degree of roast or, or mm -hmm. age, you can vary the temperature to get the best out of the coffee. Well, that's, that's huge. With espresso, as everybody knows, temperature uh, is very important and key. And this is the only brewer I know. Well, there might be a, but this is, this is the, this one does a really good job. I've it's, played around with it's it. It's the only 60 ounce brewer that's able to adjust exactly. temperature. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And all the other functions. Yeah, exactly. Well, so, let's talk about those too. <laughs> so if you look at the, the, the interface, the interface is, um, it's, it's a pretty intuitive interface. So we've got several modes here that we can select from. <clears throat> so we've got fast mode where, where we turn the pump up uh, as fast as it'll run and we can deliver 60 ounces of drip coffee in less than seven minutes. So fastest drip coffee, uh, 12 cup drip filter coffee maker on the market. Then we have gold mode. So gold automatically sets the flow rate uh, and the temperature settings to meet SCA standard for right. home certified yep. um, brewers. Yep. Controls those variables automatically. Then we have strong mode. Everyone likes a bolder, stronger cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. So we turn the um, we turn the heater up, so that increases the rates of extraction mm -hmm. because the three things that, that govern rates of extraction are temperature, pressure and grind size. Mm -hmm. So um, we're just brewing at atmosphere, so we can't control pressure, but we can control temperature. So mm -hmm. we, we turn the, uh, the heat source up and get a, a stronger tasting coffee. Over the ice. Same way as we do yeah. over ice, it's exactly the same. We turn the temperature up and then we slow the, uh, the pump rate down so we get greater contact time. So we're brewing a stronger cup of coffee. So when you pour it over ice, the dilution, dilution. of the ice yeah. doesn't dilute the flavor. Yep. Then uh, one of my favorites, it's the My Brew setting. So this is where you get to customize uh, everything about the brewer. So if we just press the select button, we, you can see the options we can change. So we can change uh, bloom time. We can see it's set to 30 seconds there. 
we can change the brew water temperature. So mm -hmm. we've got this top, we've got this dialed in uh, to 201 because that's what um, the roaster has said is is uh, will create the best flavors for this yep. coffee. Then we can adjust flow rate. So we actually want to yes. set this. We're going to set this to um, to slow. Uh -huh. And then we can adjust uh, whether we have the pour over setting on or off. Mm -hmm. So we've mm -hmm. got it set to on because we're actually uh, we're going to brew a pour over. So mm -hmm. when we when we brew pour over with this with this machine, you can put your Kalita Wave or your Hario directly directly on the adapter. Uh -huh. And we also give you a special yeah, I was say, there's interchangeable there. shower head. Yeah. Um, so so this is the four hole shower head. So. We're just going to um, just pop the three-hole shower head in there. Yep, we'll get that and yep, pop and that we'll in there. Yep, and we'll just pop that in before we brew. Exactly. Yep. So, and then we're just going to. And this is like a little booster chair. Oh, hang on, hang on. It's probably inside. Oh yeah, I bet it is. There, there it, it is. is. Oh, yeah. Ta-da. Supposed to be. Exactly. <laughs> so we can uh, we just pop that back there. Yep. Pop that back in there. Yep. And see the difference. Three yeah. hole versus four. So the three the, the, the three hole configuration uh, concentrates the water towards the center of the brew, sure. whereas the four hole one spreads it out because you're using a regular basket. Yep. But because we're going to have um, coffee in a very um, small diameter, concentrated. Yeah. We, we want the water directed onto the coffee, yeah. not onto the sure. not onto the filter paper. So it all gets saturated. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we'll just um, just put this back together. Pretty easy to um, to set up. Great. And this goes yep. up there. So we'll uh, we'll get these out of the way and we'll uh, we'll grind some coffee. Grind. Put some water in the tank. Get a filter. Um, yeah, and, and we'll and we'll get started. And we'll brew. Yeah. Okay, we'll be cool. back in a couple. Okay, so we've got the coffee in the hopper. We're going to uh, grind the proper amount at the proper setting. Phil's already preset all that on the. Uh, uh, Grind. Smart Grinder. Is that Pro. Smart with the Smart Grinder Pro? Smart Grinder Pro. Grinder Pro. <laughs> <I know. laughs> so, go ahead. Yeah. And then we'll get it brewing. Yeah, cool. So we've dialed it in so um, we've got the right grind size, as you mentioned, Gail. So we've got it set yep. up in drip. We've got the grind time set. So we're going to get around about 22 and a half grams of, of coffee out. Mm -hmm. um, so that'll give us a brew ratio of, uh, of about 16 to 1 because we're going to brew about 12 ounces of coffee. So. Perfect. Let's get this going. So it's a great grinder for this um, because it really there's not um, there's not much static. So we did a lot of work great. on controlling. Oh, did you? Controlling oh, cool. static, yeah. So um, nice. everyone hates mess. Ugh. So we're just going to dump this. Uh, straight into the center of our um, our pour over. Yep. I knew that was a smart grinder pro, really I did. I mean, we use them all the time. We just uh, spread this out a little, pop it on our, um, on our single serve stand, and then we're gonna put um, 12 ounces of water um, in our water tank. There we go. We're all set. And you can see, it says here, single cup, the max is four, 20 ounces. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of nice. Start. And then we've uh, we've already uh, preset all of our my brew settings. So mm -hmm. we've got it uh, dialed in for the 201 for temperature. Uh, we've got slow far, uh, slow flow rate and 30 seconds of bloom time. So perfect. Let's kick this off. Yeah. So now it's heating up the element, right? Exactly. It's heating up that to um, the right temperature. Yeah, to the thermocoil to the right temperature, and it gives you this um, graphic that. It tells oh, yeah. you what it's doing at each stage. Yeah, so, there it goes. So now it's going to tell you that it's blooming. So you can see it's it's delivering water to that bed of ground coffee. Yeah. Pretty good. And then it's going to uh, pause for that 30 seconds mm -hmm. uh, to bloom. So I, I would say it wasn't even, I would say two minutes. I didn't time it. it. Less than three. Yeah. Less, than, Less three. than three. But it was very good. Yeah, I mean, it's quick. It's done. So. What's left? Yeah. Taste um, test. Yeah, taste it, exactly. So yeah. you can see on the display, it gives you a time since brew. Oh yeah, so, so you, you know. So um, yeah. you know how long the coffee's been sitting there for, so yeah. when, how And long that is important, you know, the longer the coffee sits, it does change. Yeah, absolutely, so let's give it a little swirl. Yep. Mm. 
Thank you. Welcome. Cheers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Mm, that is delicious. That's really good. Wow, that's um, super smooth. You like it? Yeah, super smooth. It's really yeah. good. A lot wow. of good body there. It's got but a great body. Yeah, yeah, it's not acidic. It's real good. Where's that pastry? <laughs> Man, that's good. You want one of those almond croissants now? Yeah. And you know what? I usually drink my coffee with cream, but this is really good just the way it is. Super smooth, yeah. Yeah, it's very good. Very, very good. Yeah. So, that's the Precision Brewer from Breville. Thank you, Phil, yeah. for going through it Thanks, with Kyle. me. I mean, it, this is this to me is for the money uh, that you're going to spend for this brewer, for what you get. There's no other brewer like it. A lot of flexibility. You got yeah. it. Yep. All right. Take care.